so hello guys welcome back this is Viren Kumar so in this uh, video session I am going to discuss about the auth authentications that the Azure DevOps and that how we are going to connect with the services okay so for that you can log in to your dev.azure.com this is Azure DevOps URL and after that you can select the your organization when you have selected the organization okay, once you are on or your organization you can go to the organization setting so I will click on the organization setting then you just scroll down so when you scroll down under the pipelines you have the auth configurations okay so we can click on the auth configurations now add the auth configurations if you don't have any auth, auth configurations then you can click So I will uh, give the git suppose for the github I want to create one auth configuration so source type my bitbucket github github enterprises so I will go to the github now it is asking for the github URL you can take the github URL so in my case this is my github URL and I will paste it here now it is asking for the client ID and this secret code okay so for that how you can do that you can go to the your uh, github account under the github account you can go to your repository okay under this repository you can go to the settings under these settings um, I am going to the integrations okay under the integrations I have the github apps so I'll click on it and there you can see the Azure pipelines I want to configure the Azure pipelines apps okay so I will just click on the configure button so when I say configure button it is asking for me the username and the password so you can log in with your github account okay so now I will log in with my github account now Azure pipelines. So Azure pipelines you can uh, check the all the uh, the informations about the Azure pipelines at the github.com account. Okay. Now repository access. So what I will do all the repository. Okay. If you want to say uh, all the repository and if you say only selected repository so you can select the repository so you have the two repositories so we have the two repository and then I would say the same after that it will uh, log in to the Azure DevOps account so for that I will log in to the Microsoft account first and there it is asking for the setup your azure pipeline project so for that i will select the project i have already one project and the organization so i will select this organization and under this organization i will select this project and i will say continue after once I switched to the dev.azure.com I will select the repository so I will select this repository I will select Maven okay and then I will say save and run so under the auth configurations you can add the one auth configurations the auth configurations is basically used to do the configurations between the uh, the application so I want to get the service from the github so for that I will add the auth configuration so I say add and then I will say git and you can select the github then the github url so for that 
I will uh, enter the GitHub URL later. So first, what is the client ID? So to get the client ID, you can go to the GitHub account and under the GitHub account, github.com slash setting dot profile you can go to this url and if when you scroll down you have the developer settings so you click on the developer settings there you have the auth apps okay under the authentications app i already have the one authentications app and if you want to create the new one you can create a new authentication app okay and but i will use the existing one so i have this authentication app this is my auth app and for this auth app I have the client ID this one so what I will do I will copy and paste in the Azure DevOps now I want the client secret code okay this is the secret code I already used so I just now I want the new one I will generate the new code okay scroll down and you can copy once you copy and you can paste it here. Okay. So this is the so these things you can enter uh, at the Azure DevOps. Okay, and rest will be the same. Okay, and then authorization callback URL will be on this app. It will call and the home page URL. Okay, so if where you want to open, you can open to the local host and if you want to open another port so you can enter the home page url so in my github.com i will take the github url so for that i will go to the my github.com under the github.com i have the url for my repository so this url you can enter under the auth configurations in the github okay this will be the, your home page so you can copy and again you can go to the setting and or configuration okay. under this one uh, you can paste this one this url and you can update the applications the same the same url you can enter here and then you can say the create so now if you go to the auth configurations you have the your auth configuration is created okay now we want to get the security these are the permissions so you can add the users so uh, you can search the users you can give the users administrator okay this is the one I am the user so I can give the add the users and I can give the permissions to this one so I will create a role so reader okay so you can select the okay so I already have this for this account so you can see this is the my administrator role this is already assigned that I am not able to add for the another auth configurations so like that you can add the user so this auth configuration is done now what will happen when next time you will uh, work with this repository this github repository okay you don't need to enter the login and the password directly it will take you to this url okay so you can enter the auth configurations from there 